Mr. Wolf Mueller for a Higher Things video, Parables in Three Minutes, here at the Concordia University, Austin, Texas, Higher Things Retreat. We're going to start with the premier parable, Matthew 13, the parable of the sower. Ready? Go. Jesus tells the parable like this. He says, a man goes out to sow the seed, and he throws the seed all around. Some falls on the path, some falls on the, on the weed, some falls in the rocks, and some falls on the good soil. And the seed that falls on the path is eaten by the birds. On the soil, on the rocks, it grows up quickly, but then the sun comes out and causes it to wither. And that that falls in the weeds falls there, and the weeds, it grows up, but the weeds choke it out. And the disciples say, what does this mean? What does the parable mean? And Jesus actually explains it. So this is one of the best parables because we have the explanation. Jesus says, the bird is like the devil. And whenever the word is preached, the devil comes and snatches it out of our hearts so that we don't believe it. And the, the rocks are like the troubles of this world. So the, the, it grows, faith grows up quickly, but persecution comes along and it causes the seed to wither and the plant doesn't grow at all like this and it, and it dies. And the seed that falls amongst the weeds it's like the word, we believe it, but then the pleasures of this life come and they choke it out so that the plant doesn't grow. And then the seed that falls on the good soil, it, it grows and it produces 30, 60, even 100 fold. So it grows in its fullness. Now, Jesus was giving this parable to answer the question, why doesn't everybody believe? I mean, why is it that the word is preached and Jesus would do miracles and give all these things, but some people believe it and other people, they don't even believe it. Why is this? And Jesus says that the human heart is like this soil. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, and it's attacked by all these different things. In fact, this is the key thing for the parable, is that the word of God is under attack. The word of God is under assault. And sometimes... Oh, that's not distracting at all. Sometimes the, the devil comes and he attacks the word directly. In fact, the devil is drawn to the word of God like a moth to the flame. He just comes to devour the word of God. Other times we're afflicted by suffering, right? So we're going along and everything seems fine, but then the troubles of this world come along and they afflict us and they start to tear us down. In fact, that seed that grew up with the, with the rocks it wasn't the son's fault. It wasn't the problem of suffering. It was in fact the problem of the roots. Jesus said it didn't have enough roots and so that's why it withered. So if we try to endure suffering and we don't have our scriptures, we don't, aren't rooted down there deeply, then we'll wither and die as well. And some the, uh, are tempted by the flesh. Our flesh wants to do all sorts of sinful things. Our flesh wants to break God's commandments. Our flesh wants to, 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 to break God's law and do whatever it wants. And, and that's the pleasures of this world. That's the weeds and it chokes out our faith. Now, some people say, which are we? Are we the path? Are we the rocks? Are we the weeds? And the point is, Jesus says that all of us are all of those all the time. All of those things are attacking the word of God. All of those things are attacking the gospel. But through the Holy Spirit, the Lord makes us like the good soil that grows up and produces fruit of faith and eternal life. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.